incriminated. Now, you are incriminating yourself. In any event, we talked once or twice, I would think, right, about MP systems. Analysis is a huge aspect of it. Over the years, you, you've been through these projects and you've been able to ascertain the process and the workflow. Um, now anyone knows anything about me knows um, I had come up through the uh, paper boy business, the uh, landscaping business uh, at Liberty State Park, and then, well, within the jewelry business at Wig Doors, over by Arthur Treacher's Fish and Chips, here in picturesque Bayonne, New Jersey. Now, I've seen MEP systems. I've seen MEP systems. Now, I've been to Temple. I've been to Temple. I worked many affluent Circle Line and Dayliner cruises with the Chanticleer Chateau as a barback, MHT, host, waiter, cook, set up, all those things. But any of these systems, oh boy, let me tell you, it, it, it was difficult. And probably Landlord Bell Farms with the box lunch. It's difficult for me watching all those horses come out on shredded money to be auctioned below. It was very difficult. Energy systems are not for the faint of heart. So again, we're not gonna talk about you know where I've worked all night. I'm not gonna enough about me. Where have you been? The, during the course of your career and your path of learning. Because we're talking about Mason now. We move, we're moving on to Mason and, and I don't want to continue to be outsourced uh, when I have so much to give because I am I am a philanthropist at heart I've been through the, uh, the state welfare system the federal welfare system and I've seen some horror shows and you know there are some disingenuous folks well within that industry and there are some genuine folks as well and I find that my well-traveled uh, displacement can be turned into a silver lining uh, upon seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Or you don't see it. it, it it's not my job to, to, to determine whether or not you can see the lights or not. What it is, is for you to understand, you know, you're getting older, right? You're getting older now. You're going to have to be a grown-up someday. You can't rely on Papa and Nanny forever. You know? Someday they're going to want to, you know, box in. <laughs> That's all. You know, Nanny and Pop, they eventually going to want to box it all in. And then, and then what are you going to do? You're going to you're going to complain. And those two, they'll listen. But you're going to have to uh, get the answers, you know, from the birds and the bees. Because they'll be there, I'm sure, because uh, I catch them every so often, bitching and fucking moaning. But uh, yeah, Nanny Pop walking around forever. So any anyway, MEP systems. Uh, and, well, I'm sorry, before we get into it, if you have any problems with any of this, call your fucking congressman. So anyway, where were we? Massing in sight. Um, anyway, sometimes I get a pulse in my carotid artery. I don't wonder why. Maybe my kids drive me to the wall with their uh, being so disenfranchised from their parental unit. Anywho, we can't carve a spilled milk, right? We're not gonna drink ourselves into oblivion. We're not alcoholics, you know, like some of these folks that uh, we see on TV. And we don't make laws. Uh, we're not the alcohol beverage control. No pass laws. We don't turn beat fucking red on TV and pass laws. <laughs> anyway, what was the fuck's guy talking about? Anyway, uh, yeah, tools on the energy analysis panel allow for uh, choosing a mass model or the building components to use as a basis for generating an energy analysis report. Now, you know, first thing that comes to mind is the District of Columbia. I, I really want to go to the Smithsonian. <laughs> I really do. And I want to meet Marion Barry. 
he must be a very interesting character. <laughs> it's just such a great show. Speaking of MEP systems, uh, what was that role he performed? Well, that's right, he rolled up dollar bills a lot. <laughs> there should be there should be a parameter for, uh, for the mayoral candidates in the District of Columbia. <laughs> DC United. Oh, I, they, I complain. No one would listen to me. But we're talking about NEP systems being outsourced to domestic and international vendors. You know, I'm talking about um, uh, data breaches. I'm talking about uh, encryption. I'm talking about the 500 bucks that Google stole from me. And all these fucking calls I get from India from plus 91 <laughs> every goddamn day. You know, it's a website. I'm not selling anything. I paid the hosting name and I said I should be getting charged five hundred dollars for you to come look at it. It's a fuck radio station. Anyway, it's just a relay station. It's nothing more. Five hundred fucking dollars. I don't see an FCC license in my fucking house. And five hundred dollars is missing from my Google account and the fifteen fifteen oh five for my IRS tax return. Someone's gonna have to cough that fucking money up. You know, we're gonna have to pay the pipe. Whoever that is, someone's going to fucking jail. You can't wait. Oh, that big gulp. Ugh. Oh, they only love to play beat up white boy in there. That's the sport you want to play. You want to go to the Coliseum, go to penitentiary. You want to be like Sports Illustrated. <laughs> Anywho, Massing and Sights. The Massing and Sight tab. <laughs> combines the conceptual tools and it adds site-specific elements such as trees, parking islands, and fire hydrants. You see that fire hydrant that has the dog? It's dressed up like a dog. Isn't that cute? I was thinking about pissing on that once. Use the type selected to specify the type of site element to place or load the estimated site family into the project. And here's another thing. If you can have your dog defecate around town and you do it strategically for some malicious reason. You know, it's really, really disgusting because you're only adding to the fucking problem. You know, I mean, first of all, you should put a plastic uh, membrane down and then let the dog shit on it. Or wear a diaper. You know, in my particular uh, field, I don't think dogs should be able to defecate in public in the first place. It's a it's fecal matter. It, it, it's, uh, it's hazardous to the environment. But you know what? You, know, it, it, you can get to see what it's doing to people. It, it, it really disgusts me. And they play these games with these damn dogs. Anyway, I'm not going to get into that. It's just Bush League stuff. But the masking site tab combines the conceptual tools used for creating masses and the modeling by face objects. It provides MP users with access to site tools, including topography, site, and parking components, and building pads or foundations, as shown. In figure one nine. Now we have that ribbon open. The site settings dialog box shown for adjusting contour separation and site cut material can be accessed by clicking the arrow on the model site panel. Now, again, this is more along the lines of civil, and I have seen, especially Tudor Perini, Tudor Perini is hiring um, AutoCAD uh, Civil 3D. I don't know if Tudor Perini has uh, migrated to the Civil 3D uh, module, if you will. Uh, of Reddit MEP. Last time I was there, True Dupree, um, who's, uh, I guess, absorbing Five Star Electric. I guess Gary's trying, to get, uh, Gary's trying to get the fuck out of there. Gary's running for cover. Gary Siegel. I had to fuck away from these fucking people. Gary, I suspect Gary Siegel's trying to distance himself from some malicious activity. And I think he's hiding. I mean, True Dupree has got them, got him under his wing, I have to assume. I think Nick and Barry did the same thing. They had to get out of there. I think High Rise Electric was going down the same road. Nick and Barry ran for fucking cover. I, think, I suspect Gary Siegel's doing the same fucking thing. I, I, I empathize. I, I know the feeling. Uh, anyway, so yeah, Tudor Premier, I think, is uh, taking all of that. I don't know, maybe Tudor Premier is. Uh, no, they seem okay. They're, they're, they're at the federal level. They wouldn't get in those, those fucking lucrative contracts if they were, if they were dirty. You can't get through Tudor Premier. Uh, you, you're not going to get through that, 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 that screen. They're just not. Don't think you're going to be able to pull the wool over their fucking eyes. You're not going to get through it. 
In any event, I don't know why I said it, but it's just the truth. Tudor Free is a very, is a major, major contractor. And they don't play effing games. Anyway, so, uh, but I'll be honest with you, I am not, I am not the guy to be drawing contours in microstation from, you know, from the geometry train backwards. <laughs> no, no, no. I am not going to take a, uh, a geometry train automated radar script drawing and then redraw it using colors from my eyeballs. It, it's not conducive to my mental health. <laughs> no, absolutely not. It, you know, no. Yeah, uh, it's not my forte. I don't believe in it. Let, let someone who likes to do that all day long do that. Anyway, so yeah, this say um, this is important. It's important. Subway is no way for a good man to go down. Subsurface work like that is really, really taxing. I wouldn't wish it on you, especially the laborers that gotta haul those fucking rocks out on them. Those bags on the work train. You want to talk about a miserable living? <sighs> I've been down those tunnels. Heroin needles and everything. These guys are down there working their asses off, booting as they go. Just trying to dull the fucking pain. You might as well be digging on a fucking grave. MEP systems. Ugh. In any event, it's ruthless work. Ruthless. LK Comstock, ruthless railroads, ruthless. And all of you. You know, those fucking hierarchical placement, you know, nepotists are just running this show, collecting the check, doing absolutely fucking nothing. Nothing but the NTA kind of keeps a tight grip on them a little bit, but, you know, they still, they still find their ways in. They still find their ways. Because the lower you go on a total hole in, contract, in the contracting business, the more there are loopholes that these malicious things can nest in. And, and, and parasite off of the federal fund. And it's just all taxpayer dollars, you know. And that's what they do, they're parasites. They're parasites. And, and you can't catch them all. I can just point out to you left and right. They're all over. And they can, they can spend 25 years in the company and no one's ever gonna know. And they'll go to the grave, ah, I did it. Ah, we did it. A fucking, uh, a bunch of deer, a, a bunch of ticks, and a bunch of fucking ringworms, tapeworms. And they can stay an entire, uh, entire three, four, five, six, seven generations by being a fucking parasitic tapeworm. And no one will know the better. No one will know the better. That's what disgusts me about the business. It disgusts me. And, and we're the ones that suffer. And then we're the ones that suffer. The Lipinski family suffered because of it. And I'm going to use the name because we really did. All right, enough with the melodrama. War's over, Mike, right? War's over. Woman's trying to tell me. War's over, man. Okay. It combines the conceptual tools used for creating masses and the modeling by face objects. It provides MEP users with access to site tools, including topography site and parking components and building pairs or foundations. The site settings dollar box shown for adjusting contour separation and site cut material can be accessed by clicking the arrow on the model site panel. And we did that on the model site panel. And there's a lot of adjustments that you're going to have to make. The incremental adjustments and the subcategory and the range type and the increment at intervals of, uh, of you know, 10. Or tiny, 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 right? Really, really, really tiny. Water. The water's going to have to drain, right? In, in, a, in a real sense, it has to drain. It's one of the most important aspects of a, of a plat map, for that matter. You got to have runoff. It's going to run off somewhere. You know, like, look what uh, Alessi did down by the golf course. They've got that. Uh, that overflow. I suspect that's for a heavy moon tide or, or a hurricane. It's not that big, God forbid, 
We have a big, big hurricane. I don't know if that's going to save that or what. The lessee office down there. Oi Teiko is going to be take off. Take off. Oi Teiko is going to float away back to fucking Japan. Because that's big. It's an overflow of moon tide. If we get a moon tide in a category six, Oi Teiko, fucking Hallmark, the theater, the hula hands. Bye bye. You might as well be on a barge. You might as well be on a week's barge going out to, uh, I don't know, where they dump the medical waste. But, you know, they prepared as best they could. In any event, collaborate. Right? This, and this is one of the hardest aspects of it. You know, collaboration is uh, sometimes very, very close knit. Uh, hush hush. You know, you need tools that allow you to keep your model coordinated with other disciplines. And some uh, disciplines are more disciplined than others, and some aren't very disciplined, and some have no discipline whatsoever. And, uh, it's, that's a very, it's a collective effort. Discipline's a collective effort. Speak softly and carry a big stick. Now, these tools can be found on the Collaborate tab. The Manage Collaboration Panel has a drop-down list for setting the active work set. And a Coordinate Panel contains tools for copying and monitoring objects from little files. Now, let's take a look at that. It just so happens to be right above Collaborate. Now, in some towns, it's just a matter of not enough parking spaces. And just let's take them all up. <laughs> and that's a collaboration. That's, that's, their, that's their Revit procedure. I mean, seriously, they can't do it any other way. They, they're in collaborative teams that just occupy space. They keep it simple that way. And, and they bypass all of the difficult part of it. Just get a line of cars, a bunch of people coming in, and just take up space and, and make sure that no one else has any. It's their only other option. Without knowing the language, the native language, you know how hard it is for people to have to get through this particular screening process. And, and that's where I come in. That's where I come in. I can, I can bridge that gap for you. But if, if you want to just keep playing Frogger, then I guess go ahead. It's insanity. It's ridiculousness. Again, a vehicle's designed to get you somewhere. It might as well be a piece of scrap paper. Anyway, yeah, so these tools are going to be important. You see on here that there are a bunch, you know, and you won't be able to uh, activate any of them without a, a work set and enabling work sharing. Because I do all the work mostly when I go into these electrical contractor shops. Uh, and uh, to date, I really haven't had an opportunity to share it with someone else. Usually it's them doing absolutely nothing uh, and me doing all the work and they just are getting the share from another source. It could well be that the source is me and it's not being reciprocated. You know, give me a reach around. You ever heard that expression? All right, fine, fine. If you're going to fuck me in the ass, fine. But at least give me a reach around. But no, 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 no. No, no, no. Not in IBW Local 3. No, no, no. And I think what it is is that they're, they're, they're trying to emulate what they think and what they receive is going on with a governmental agency. So they're saying, okay, if you're going to do it, then we're going to do it. And then the guys or the girls that are in the middle that are actually trying to implement this and try to keep the peace and provide stability within these projects are the ones who get screwed. Because the, 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 the bad apples on both sides of that spectrum are the ones that, that got to be weaned out. And, and that <laughs> is one of the main reasons why these platforms are designed. And, uh, and and if you, God forbid, you do um, create the next best thing since sliced bread to provide that sense of security, a level of security, instead of conforming to it, they'll try to find a way around it. It's the same old story. It's the same old story. It's the same old story. So I don't want to go off on too much of a tangent, but collaboration is in, important because of collusion. Because of collusion. For example, you know, I gotta borrow, borrow my ass about that Fred Geller Electric, right? But you know, that family is really, really close to Robert Chambers. I'll let you know that. They were buddies. Very sleazy organization. 
I'm sorry. They threw you under the bus. Well, I'm trying to teach you, you know, prevailing wage and, and, uh, and, 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 and right to work state labor. And not union and non union labor as well. I, I sprinkle all this in. Collaboration is very important. Especially if you can text someone and say there's a parking space across the street, go take it, because this guy needs a parking space. So, you know what I mean? Like, shit. It was just easy not to get a car. And that's kind of like what it is. You break down to its simple terms. Make it so that they can't man the job. <coughs> Make it so that they can't fund the job. Make it so they can't get the bond. Force them out of the market. Or make them join and export their labor force. So we can drink and go out to dinner and laugh <clears throat> and live life fun, not like a refugee. That's exactly what's going on. That's all it is. It's the haves against the have nots. Mission went to England higher decree of ethics and couth. I watched my Julia Child's cooking show. You know what I thought his name was Julia? Did you ever watch Julia Child's cut a fucking chicken's head off? <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to talk about how mad I get when I think about people fucking with my kids, because I get a little kooky. But yeah, if you're really fucking interested in playing with my kids, fucking manipulating them, watch Julia Child's fucking chicken fucking cooking show. I'll give you an idea of how I cook a chicken. I learned it from Julia Childs. Yeah, so yeah, what am I saying? Collaboration. You don't collude. You don't want to go to jail. No whole cable. They have to do a reputable. You don't want to go to jail over what? 200, 300 million dollar job? It's only 300 million. You can take that hit, right? I'm sure you have plenty of money. Is it's $500 million really going to hurt you if you had to just cough it up? you got deep pockets. So you need tools that allow you to keep your model coordinated with other disciplines and work within a multi-user environment. These tools can be found on the collaborative. The managed collaboration map panel has a drop-down list for setting the active worksheet, and the coordinate panel contains tools for copying and monitoring objects from linked files. The coordinate panel also has a tool for locating face-based, or face-hosted, I should say. So I'm going to prompt it. Face-hosted. And we all have been. In some cases, we've been face-based, forced into this level of pain and suffering. And there lies the accountability. When you're face-based, that's not good. It's not good. It's especially if something's trying to face-base you. That's tantamount to taking you by the back of the head and banging your head into a fucking brick wall, right? So the aspects of these elements and these components that you install and you place in your model, whether it be on a floor or a ceiling or a wall, as being a face-based component or a floor-based component or a ceiling-based component, um, any uh, aspect of it, be it a variable air volume uh, register or a diffuser or a switch or uh, horn stroke, uh, CO, you know, uh, dust detection, device, uh, all of these things, uh, are either going to be um, you know, available for you by the manufacturer or not. Now, you're going to need to use the coordinate panel, and it also has to for locating these face-hosted elements that have lost their association, and sometimes you could lose an association to their host, you know. That's like cut, getting something cut off from its source. You know. You can check for clashes between model objects by using the interference check tool on the coordinate table. And I'll be honest with you, I've never used it. Uh, I used it in Navisworks, or at least, yeah, I had to use it in Navisworks Manager. I actually use it relatively well, but um, I suspect prior to it going to Navisworks Manage, you could do it here too. Way, way prior. It's just, it's bovis lend lease, getting it. 
and coordinating it with Navis Works Manager because uh, first the, the report will be clash free and when they get it, it'll start reporting clashes and then it's the coordinator's job for the GC to clear those clashes but there shouldn't be any in the, uh, the engineered model because ordinarily and what I've found in my travels is that the model's pretty accurate and then they compare and contrast the two and therein lies the conforming. Anyway, I learned that from Medwin. All right, so I just should have did it in a rather waste of fucking time. In any event, yeah, so here they are, right? Here they are, all up here. This, we'll get to this. Oh, my mouse, no light at mouse point. Hold on. We'll get to all this. We'll get to all this. And you gotta, you gotta sit down with a, with a, a, and you gotta, you gotta, you gotta test these things to see if indeed it returns the data that the program professes to return. And if it doesn't, then it's not usually you. It's not usually the, the software. It's something that you're doing wrong. You're missing a step, or you're you're you're, you're not um, focusing enough on on the procedure to do it. And then I've gone through it, and, and even though I've gone through it, I still have to go back and do it over and over and over again. Because you do it once and you get it, and if you're not practicing it every day, you're gonna forget. And you have to go back and you have to refer to it again. So that's why, again, some of these larger you know, global engineering firms, some of the bigger ones, uh, they, this is what they do, day in and day out. And it's second fiddle, it's second fiddle to them. And uh, you know they don't tolerate they don't really tolerate um, deviations from center when it's taken so much to perfect it to get it so that uh, it's um, it'll stand. It doesn't like to deviate from center. Now, so the coordinate panel is also so for locating these faced posted elements that have lost their association, right? And that would be the reconcile hosting. Now, that's something else, right? Lots of ways you go at that. But we'll get to that. This isn't an accounting class. What do you... Cool accounting is something I don't know. But I do know <laughs> that uh, the Revit Server Accelerator helps, I think, if you can get one of those tapped into your network. It'll, uh, it'll, it'll reconcile a little quicker. So yeah, it has that to reassociate uh, you know, any lost uh, or disassociated face-hosted element. Um, and whether it was lost or if it was deliberately, you know, that's what I'm looking for. Well, what do you do when you put a, when you rip something out and you throw it into the garbage can? You don't necessarily have to lose your association to a host. You could be uh, excluded from your association to the host. But I had an Amazonian jacket from 1970 in my closet. And if I want to reassociate myself, I'll just go with my Amazonian jacket. That's all. Put on a pair of fucking corduroys, knit tie, my association's right back. Anyway, you know, I go to Spago's. <laughs> Tavern on the Green. The windows of the world. All right, so, yeah. Remember those blazers, sport coats with the uh, elbows, <laughs> the black thing on the elbows? I, knew, I remember guys just coming to the bar I used to work in, and they would only shop at vintage, like, old stores. And I think what they would do, girls too, they would, they would go out and they would have like a theme night collectively amongst themselves. Like, we're all going to dress up like we're from the 70s, from the 80s, from certain eras. I found it kind of uh, interesting. And any younger kids out there like to go out at night to the bars and stuff. Just a little tidbit. You know, uh, what were those? It was bell bottoms, right? The bell bottoms, remember back in the 70s? The bell bottoms. Hush puppies, clogs, Dr. Denton's, all those things. Anyway, you know, 
It is what it is. And I know I'm digressing from mechanical, electrical, and plumbing systems, but this is a different kind of class. Speaking of that, I just thought of Chardonnay. I'm going to need a glass of wine. Anyway, yeah, the editing requests. And this is important. Sometimes um, you're going to need to ask the, the uh, collaborator, can I edit the model? Can I touch it? And uh, either you're going to get it or you're not. Um, so, you know, that's located on the, the synchronized panel. And synchronization is important. You know, so let's synchronize our clocks and all that stuff. Dull is what I want. It goes better with red meat. Okay. That's what I should say. The editing request button on the synchronized panel allows you to see any requests that have been made to modify elements you are borrowing or own. Now, when you actually draft something in the uh, software platform, you, t you can actually take possession of, per se, in a virtual world. And you can relinquish that ownership, and then it will be available for editing by another member of the team. But won't. And it's a little tricky because um, and what you get into it, you're not, at first you're not going to understand if you own something or not. Available for editing? Well, yeah, but only by the other guy, or not by you. So you'll, 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 fumble, you'll fumble through. Anyway, so the view tab. The view tab we talked about, and I, I did something on the demo with it. I'm not going to go ahead and give any more examples to uh, uh, designing uh, venues for uh, family functions, like weddings. But again, there's no chafing dishes, no parameter for um, sterno, no parameter for tablecloths, doilies, things of that nature. But uh, yeah, the few, yeah. So, <laughs> deviating from center. Oh, and of course, the Revit Accelerator. The Revit Accelerator, uh, you know, you have the option to connect to a Revit Server Accelerator by clicking the arrow, and, and then, boom, you know, the view comes right into play. Real quick, look at these split, and then, oh shit, you know, I, I got to start designing a, you know, I start a Villa Nova on the end of the <laughs> So, uh, you know, or, or some other uh, ornate uh, wedding venue. So the view tab, you know, whether or not you're going to get to see that is something uh, else. And, and, and there's a whole host of tools a whole host of tools that uh, you can see um, are going to allow you to uh, augment your view in Project Browser so that it's easier for you to navigate through the platform. And that'll help, right? That'll help. Let's say, for example, you're throwing a charity event or a benefit dinner. Let's say uh, you're raising money for uh, housing in the Gaza Strip and your uh, charitable Israel, Israeli organization and you're, let's say, let's say you're in, uh, it's a nice hotel, you're in, the, uh, you're in the world of Astoria and you got the floor plan right? and you're selling tables. Let's say you're selling tables for $100,000 each and, 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 and you got only 12 people you can bring and, and you only got, you know, no way, figure. 300,000 square feet. And you had to put in these tables equidistant. And that's going to relay directly over to help the displaced refugees in Gaza. Now you could do one of two things. You could just scrap it, drop a Moab on Hamas and Hezbollah, and then just, you know, use the site plan that way. Or you could do it the civilized way by organizing the tables into a lucid, concise document, taking the funds that are legitimate funds, funneling them over to an organization that's reputable, that can help the community, help develop a third world country, help develop a perceived to be oppressed people. You don't have to go around 
inciting people to do malicious acts, to do your bidding, just so that you can go to the fucking event in the first place and rub elbows with the aristocracy. It just goes beyond the rudimentary uh, functions of uh, behavior within an organization. So I'm going to bring it up because in mechanical and electrical systems, and those two ways are a way of uh, doing the, that exact thing. And so, again, you know, it is the duality of man that plays into it, and I suspect the duality of women, but uh, I'm not the one that has the benefits, and nor do I attend them. But I, I'm fully aware that they do exist in, in all sorts of level of the echelon that uh, we see splashed around the uh, silver screen and some of the pages on the uh, checkout line at ShopRite. <laughs> so uh, when you're looking at the view or watching it, be uh, aware that the user interface button allows you to toggle the visibility of key user interface features, including the properties, palette system, browser, and project browser, because we need to uh, now. And this video is running a little late, and I need coffee, and I'm trying to illustrate this to you in a, uh, in a way you can understand, because, you know, when you get too obsessed or hyper-focused on a prime directive, you may find that you're overemphasizing a point. And per se, I, or at least I should say, I don't feel like I'm overemphasizing everything. Emphasis plays a huge part in this. And if you expect something or demand something to come to fruition, sometimes, sometimes uh, it becomes, you know, obvious to anyone that's worth their salt and engineering that you do have to add the F-U in front of effing, you know, because it just doesn't want to listen. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, I giggled. Um, but anyway, I only do that because I'm not down at Quick Check, and it could very well be my daughter's working there, and again, I don't have a security detail surrounding my children, and they're just as uh, uh, valuable to me as uh, the royal family would be to, you know, the royals. I, Kansas City royals, I mean.